Were you watching me slipping? What the frickity frack? <laughs> yes, I slipped fully dressed, okay? Yeah. <laughs> this is not staged at all. I was slipping, yeah. If this video doesn't improve your phasmophobia skills by 10 times, 100 times, I don't know. Yes, I'm deleting my YouTube channel. No, probably not. <laughs> but trust me when I say this, okay? These things will improve your phasmophobia playing ability by so much. If you don't know about these tips, it's, it's gonna blow your mind, it's gonna be fantastic, and yeah. I wait for the last thing, because that might be the most important thing. And do not skip ahead, okay, because then I'm disappointed. <laughs> the first thing we have revolves around the salt, and this, okay, I recently learned this. When I, when I learned this, it blew my mind completely. It is so freaking good, trust me. I've said before how you can use the salt to get full, uh, f so you can get a lot of photos. Well, I do not think a lot of people know about this, but oh my god, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's enough teasing. Let's get into the first thing that will improve your phasmophobia playing ability by a lot. There we go. We have three salts here. As you can see, they were placed down. The ghost just walked over it. So, Blitz, if you want to take three photos here, would be legendary. Thank you. Very nice. So, as you can see here, three, three star photos of the salts. But then you're like, oh, we need the ghost to walk over here to get more photos. No, we don't. Just another player. Three more photos. And bada bing, bada boom, six three star photos from three salts. And for more people playing, every one of you can take three photos out of the same pile. You get a full book of photos from your three salts. Isn't that beautiful? And you don't even need to wait for ghost walk over multiple salts and you can just increase the odds of that happening a lot. It is a legendary. You just gotta play with, uh, with a friend or more <laughs> and then you're good. So while we're still in the realm of playing together with other people, there is a way that you can live six tango drive during hunts. Yes, you heard that right you can leave the house during hunts not a problem at all all you need is another player and then you're good to go but no, let's not sit here and just talk about it let me show it to you instead i love this this is called going to narnia and it is legendary so first of all we need to go to hunt so let's um use this one and trigger it so oh, oh no the door is locked it locked is hunting well 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 it's narnia time <laughs> you see door is locked we just live <laughs> It's so good. It's so, so good. I think it's all works on 6 time drive, but it is fun for fantastic. <laughs> Just, the, the only issue is that your friend, uh, Blitz in here, your friend is still in the house, but you're safe. <laughs> this is so good. I love it. I absolutely love it. So now you saw it in action. You saw how wonderful it works. The, the basic idea behind this is that to do this, all you need to do is, the person you're playing with needs to go into the utmost corner just like this. Blitz, whenever you're ready, it's Narnia time. This is what we call in this lovely community Narnia time. You see, your friend Blitz stays bent over <laughs> just like this, waiting to get smacked by the door. All you need to do is go up to the door fully, hold down your um, hold down on the door, close it towards you, and walk forward. <laughs> and your friend is gone! Yeah! <laughs> And then, you've saved our life in Phasmophobia, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> Before we continue with this video, I have something very important to show you. The balls. If I can create the Tower of Balls, first try, you subscribe, okay? Let's check on it. <laughs> yes, look at the balls. It's beautiful. So, don't subscribe for me, subscribe for the balls, and if you like the video as well, <laughs> I want to see more of it. So let's get into the third way of improving your Phasmophobia playing. So once you're getting get into Phasmophobia a bit, you'll notice that different ghosts have different sort of hunt behaviors. To tell the most out of each and every hunt behavior, the game has provided you with, with some different spots around each map that is called looping spots. These are spots like this, for example, on Six Tango Drive, where you can consistently run around in a circle, let the ghost follow you, allows you to tell so much about the ghost and their hidden abilities. But it can also be a spot like this, just a normal table. And they're not only these spots located on house maps, but also outside maps, for example, the tables here. Perfect for looping. In this, you can, even, you can even trap the ghost while doing this, but th this, that's for another video. Yeah, as I said, they're spread out across each and every map, basically, with some exceptions. But um, yeah, these spots allow you to tell so much about the ghost. You can easily see if you have an Obake, if it does a shapeshift. You can see if you have a Jokai, if it spins up along a side. So much good stuff you can tell about just the looping. And if you master the looping, trust me, you will improve your phasmophobia gameplay by so much. And you will impress a lot of people as well, because it's quite cool. Cool, I'd say, in my humble opinion. But yeah, enough of me is talking about it. Let me show it to you 
in action. So when you loop the guns, it is important to always keep a smudge and a lighter on your hands. Otherwise, because that is basically your safety blanket, the, the thing you can lean back on if you mess up the looping. So you don't uh, get fooled by the ghost, basically. And another thing that is very important is that ghosts, they speed up on line of sight, okay? So in order to be able to loop the ghost for as long as possible, you're gonna wanna stay out of the line of sight so it doesn't speed up and just folds instantly because it makes such a big difference. And how you do that is just by crouching and staying close to um, like close to the edge of um, whatever you're looping. So I will first show you without line of sight and then I will show you with line of sight so you see the difference and how much harder it is when the ghost speeds up and you're trying to loop the ghost. Let me trigger this hunt and we'll get going. And by the way, a quick little side note before the hunt starts. You're gonna wanna have electronics on you. Oh my. In order, because because you're staying out of line of sight from the ghost, it can just walk away. So you need electronics on all the time so the ghost can sense you, but don't spit up from the line of sight. So now, let's get the hunt going. You see? Staying crouched, keeping electronics so the ghost senses us. Oh, oh, this is not good. It's a crouching. Yeah, this is an issue. You see, the ghost is crouches, so you can't really tell where it is. Usually it stands up, but it's a crawling baby, and that is not nice at all. But. Always keep the smudge on hand if you mess up the looping. It's very important. Try to stay on the opposite side of the ghost. And then you can... As long as you stay out of line of sight, you can loop for however long you want. And just keep keep the incense close at hand. So you never want to be on the same side of the ghost like this. Then it will speed up on line of sight. That's an issue. So just, yeah. Try to stay as far away from the ghost as you possibly can. And now this time, let me show you with line of sight. And see how big of a difference this makes. And just how much harder it becomes. Oh no, we have a hunter. It doesn't spit up on line of sight. Um, um, let me fix this real quick. <laughs> oh my god, that's annoying. Okay, now I've restarted round. Let's just hope that this is a ghost that spits up on line of sight. Most ghosts do, so let's hope. I mean, we never get the heart pin anyway, so we're very lucky with this. <laughs> Seriously, every single pin? What? <laughs> well, there we go. No, come here, ghost. Always, as I said, incense on the hand. Very important. Ghost, what is going on? Come here, please. <laughs> it doesn't care about us. <laughs> what is going on? Ghost, please. Okay, now. Now, yeah, it's pissed up on the side. You'll notice how quick it will become and how much of an issue this is going to be. You see, it's already very fast. It's hard to keep track. It's hard to stay on the other side of the ghost. Oh, my. Yeah. No, 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 no. And you see. I have more like player speed than normal as well, and I needed to use instance. I mean, you see how much of a difference it makes with the line of sight, unless you're very good at looping, because some people can't do that, I can't. <laughs> so as I said, looping, stay out of line of sight, have electronics on you, find a good uh, looping spot, and you'll improve so much at Phasmophobia. This is probably like the best way to uh, take your Phasmophobia gameplay to another level. Just behind me, we might have the hardest objective in Phasmophobia. This is a thing so many people screw up. Me? Personally as well. It is this one. Capture a photo of the ghost. The hard thing isn't to take the actual photo. The hard thing is to do it first try so you still have 10 to 3-star photos in order to get the perfect investigation. That is what I thought for the longest time that you needed to do. But no, this moves over to the next tip. And trust me, this... This is a good one. Listen close to my words when I say this. You do not need to have a spot open in the book in order to get the objective, capture a photo of the ghost. By the way, I don't know if you noticed, but that was our case number a thousand. That's kind of cool. I played a thousand cases in fast mode. Oh my god. <laughs> so as you can see now, the entire book is full. We have no more room to take the ghost photo. And we're like, oh no, that is so bad. We cannot complete the objective. We cannot get the perfect investigation. Well, friend, don't you worry for a second because it is still possible. All we need to do, whatever the book says, is just to get a ghost photo. And that we can do quite easily by utilizing a little trick that I can show you. What am I call Should we call it a bonus trick, maybe? Yeah. The ghost photo we can easily do by combining this trick with the next trick. You can use a summoning circle in order to get the ghost photo very easily. All you need to do is summon the ghost. Oh, f Oh, f Oh, this is so not good. Okay. Um, this did not work at all. Okay. <laughs> Let's try this again. Hopefully it doesn't hunt. <laughs> Yeah, okay. All you need to do is light up the summoning circle. Capture photo that one and then run. Just go into hiding spot and then you're good. As long as you have hiding spots on your contract, otherwise you're kind of screwed. <laughs> and would you look at this? Capture photo of the ghost. All done and dusted. Even though we had a book 
full of photos, no goals for here, but we still got the objective and you got to see how you can easily take the photo to goals if you have a summoning circle, of course. Isn't that perfect? Yeah, yeah. And there you have it. That is it for today's video. No, I was kidding with you because you remember in the beginning how I promised you the best tip ever. The tips you've seen, those are not the best tips. I'm gonna show you to you right now. You just go in a six Tanglewood Drive. There is a thing in that map that grants you success in life. Fortune, happiness, greatness, achievements, everything. Yes. Go into Six Tangle Drive, as I said. Go to the kitchen aisle on Six Tangle Drive. In this drawer, it is everything you want in life, you seek in life. Just utmost perfection. It is potatoes. Look at this cutie. But it doesn't just stop here. Listen. <laughs> It gets me every time. I don't, I've done this so many times. I love it. Whenever it launches. Oh. <laughs> I love this one. It's so cute. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but yes, like and subscribe. Otherwise, I am murdering the potatoes. Trust me. The potato will die unless you like and subscribe. I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, the potatoes will live. The potatoes will live to say another day. Bye-bye. Are you alive? Yes.